Hello everyone, I am Tasta, and today I'm going to be going over a bunch of ingredients that the shops have within Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity that are worth getting pretty much every single time. Many of these ingredients are exclusive only to the shops or pretty much only viably received from the shops, even if they are in other locations, they're just much better to uh, end up shopping for. I will make a bunch of honorable mentions as well as we go through the video, however, as you can see in our Sheikah sensor, there is 10 of them. The other reason I did this is this video will indirectly contain some small amount of spoilers so if you're still trying to avoid spoilers you may want to complete out the full game as or the uh, f full storyline first initially uh, just because uh, we will be showing a fully completed out uh, map as well as a few other things that could be maybe slightly spoilerish as like uh, end game food and stuff like that as we will be explaining what each of these ingredients are specifically used for as well this is not going to be a triple food guide as far as sets for that we will be covering that this week but uh, this will be more so focused specifically on the ingredients you should be looking for in the shops and basically what these ingredients ultimately end up getting uh, used for. So right over there are the 10 to uh, keep an eye out for. Uh, so if you're avoiding spoilers, now would be a good time to click off as we're about to get into the full map. So we'll just go straight into the uh, shop menu and uh, go from there. So uh, as far as all the way over to uh, here, we'll basically just go down the list as far as uh, every single one of these and uh, go one at a time as far as uh, what they potentially can uh, end up being uh, used for. So uh, first honorable mention I actually want to do before we even get into the first ingredient is spicy pepper. Uh, spicy pepper can be farmed from other courses pretty easily. However, the main dish that this is used for is specifically this one right over here. If we go into a, a stage and uh, we go into cooking. Uh, the spicy one is mostly used for a 10% uh, damage buff, with another honorable mention being the uh, meat right over there. So you generally want to go and get uh, raw prime meat with the uh, spicy pepper, as uh, this is a really good 10% option. Uh, there are options later in the game that make it so you might not necessarily need this, but it's a pretty cheap option, uh, both of which you can end up buying from the shop. So being able to have this just as a little bit of damage output to throw here and there is good to consider. As far as uh, the main one that's actually on this list though, going into the next one, is a very important one that you should pretty much buy out every single time. It is Tabantha Wheat. This is used in a very, very wide variety of uh, dishes. Uh, most importantly, it is used within the material drop rate dishes. So if we go to uh, stage again, and go into the uh, menu here. So it's used for um, one of the speed boosts, one of the 15% speed boosts, particularly the cheaper 15% uh, speed boost ends up using the Tabantha Wheat. Uh, uh, movement speed is insanely good in this game uh, due to the fact that uh, bigger courses can actually save you a bit more time than uh, damage can in some instances, which is pretty amazing and is really cheap to end up uh, making as well. However, the main thing that it really comes into uh, more often than not are a lot of the um, the material dishes. So if I'm not mistaken, uh, every single one of these, except the really small one, ends up using this. So rare material, 30%, which are all those yellow ones that drop uh, when you're in a mission. 20% uh, material, 15% material, all insanely good uh, foods that do require this wheat. So you're going to be needing a lot of this wheat. So uh, make sure to be stocking up on it as, um, yeah, one of the best uh, foods overall in the game as far as the variety that it ends up getting uh, used for. Uh, next up, we got ourselves the uh, durian, of course. As far as the uh, hardy durian, there are two courses that, uh, as of this current moment in time, that can end up uh, farming these uh, hardy durians. However, they're generally worth uh, getting uh, just from the shop, as going back to one of them isn't really that viable. However, the other one can be brought, um, gotten back to. However, it doesn't give that many durians, and uh, it's one of the like, really last stages you ever get. So those two stages are uh, this one right over here. It should be durian, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, so this one is durian. It also gives that pretty good crab, uh, so if you uh, end up doing that one. And the other one is the uh, really end game stage, the Siege of Fort uh, Hatino. Uh, this also ends up giving you some of those uh, hardy durians. The main thing that hardy durian is used for is uh, one of the best rupee dishes in the entire game, oddly enough. Uh, if we go over to our uh, dishes once again, and we go all the way to the side here, it is used for the dubious food, which ends up increasing a rupee rate by 100%. Uh, this will end up uh, basically doubling any of the rupees that you get for the duration of the battle. It also ends up increasing your bonus. It doesn't increase your um, kill bonus, nor does it increase your... Um, your time bonus however the bonus all the way at the top for the stage completion it does end up doubling so if that stage completion would have been 500 it becomes a thousand if it was originally going to be like 1200 uh from like a blood moon or something it comes 2400 uh this is really good if you're not really planning on um, throwing down any food and you just want some extra uh, rupees if you're still at the point where you need rupees as uh, this wound up giving you of course a lot of rupee increase so it's a great way to uh, kind of be perpetually keeping your rupee numbers uh, up uh, kind of passively while doing courses especially if you don't directly need food for the course obviously if you're doing a course for the first 
first time, you might not want to risk the minus 20% health. However, if you're doing a course that you've already done before, it's uh, not really that risky. Minus 20% health is uh, very minuscule to actually dying, especially with how HP works when you're low, since you always have like that safety hit. So uh, uh, definitely worth considering using a lot. It's among one of the better foods, at least from a farming uh, perspective. Uh, but anyways, on to uh, the uh, next one then. As far as the uh, next shop item to end up mentioning, we got uh, probably the best shop in the game as far as the variety that this place has. So once again, this has the pepper. Uh, one other thing to mention, even though it's not related to uh, food cooking at all, is this actually has the cheapest insect in the entire game. So if you're already here to buy the rock salt and uh, goron spice, which you generally are because rock salt, gosh, is used for so many good recipes. But... Um, you might as well buy the pepper and the uh, butterfly while you're here. Uh, the butterfly is used to get weapons from level 25 to 30, and you need uh, 50 insects to do this. And this is the cheapest insect in the game. So if you're looking, if you're still tight on rupees and you're looking for some value, for only 60 rupees, once you have the shop fully uh, reduced down in price, uh, you can end up getting yourself uh, 10 of them. And I believe you need 50 to go from 25 to 30 weapon. And when you do this dozens upon dozens of times, I think I have like 40 or 50 uh, level 30 weapons. You run through a lot of insects, especially if you're not running through stages that have any insects so if you rotate blood moons you normally do but still if you're running low great thing to go for anyways uh rock salt and uh goron spice so let's go over uh rock salt first of course so this what is rock salt not used for <laughs> i think it might actually be have the highest amount of viable dishes in the entire game as far as uh, what it ultimately comes down to so if we go over to cooking uh one of the early game things that you get that's already really good for uh one of the side shops that you sell these other three things the palm fruit the watermelon and the uh, vault i don't currently have it up but uh, keep an eye out for that as it's an honorable mention as far as things to buy but uh, this is a really good early game um food boost because at some point in the early game you pretty much just have a five percent into a seven percent and um yeah you need that rock salt for that seven percent uh, as far as some really really good foods the highest um or the second highest i should say uh, damage boost in the game uh, you can end up getting here for the uh, 12 percent ends up getting used for uh one of these which one was it i know there's one over here where it was used for uh, oh yeah, it was used for the dubious food, of course, duh, uh, because you need the 100% uh, rupee bonus for it. And there was one other big dish, and I actually forget which one it is now. Uh, it's used for the cooking effect bonus. I personally do not feel like cooking effect is actually that good, though. Uh, so it's a very, very situational if you end up throwing it down. But more often than not, you're throwing it primarily for the... Um, 12% damage, that's the one you're doing it the absolute most for, and you also end up throwing it for the uh, other 10% uh, damage. So it's used for a lot of various uh, damage bonus, and if nothing else, you're going to need some for the uh, dubious uh, food, uh, which you'll constantly keep needing with the uh, uh, with the little spiny thing. <laughs> or the hardy durian, I forgot its name. Fail. Anyways, as far as the next thing, so... Uh, next up is the uh, Goran Spice. So as far as uh, Goran Spice is uh, concerned, it is used for one really particular dish as far as um, its effect, uh, or at least as far as ones I personally feel are really viable, and that is the 10% uh, all stats. So uh, there are, of course, uh, two of these ones that uses the meat and stuff. Uh, these are all uh, things that you can't get from shops. However, uh, this you can pretty much almost entirely get from shops. Uh, all it requires is Hylian Rice. Uh, which I don't think we got to yet, but uh, that is the main thing Hylian Rice is used for. Uh, the Goron Spice, which is the main thing Goron Spice is used for, and Monster Extract. Uh, as far as Monster Extract is an end game kind of thing, you um, it's not a shop-related item, but you get it from uh, this thing over here. Uh, you just exchange your uh, Moblin Fangs, your Bacoblin Horns, your uh, Lizalfos Horns, the Lizalfos Talons, and a bunch of Bacoblin Trophies. Basically all those like useless ones and the ones that you could farm pretty quickly. And you basically just exchange those in for 10 Extract, and then boom, there you go. And uh, obviously you do use those to upgrade uh, weapons as well. Uh, however, uh, you can also use it to get uh, monster extracts, which are used for some of the best uh, recipes in the entire game. Anyways, as far as our uh, next one down the list, our uh, next honorable mention is, of course, here's where you get the raw prime uh, meat. This is used for a 10% attack bonus. Uh, you can get this from stages pretty effectively. However, if you're just looking for uh, uh, not wanting to have to go back to some stages that you can farm it on, uh, you can just constantly keep buying it here for a somewhat reasonable price, given that it's a 10% uh, damage increase. Anyways, as far as uh, the next ones, this shop has uh, quite a few that are uh, worth um, getting. However, I will only be going over, I believe, sugarcane, as I do want to get to the other ones once we get to the better shop. Uh, you can buy eggs and uh, butter here. However, they are a much lower quantity than the other shops, so do be mindful of that. Uh, the main thing to really mention here is cane sugar. Cane sugar is basically the farming food in this game. So as far as uh, the recipes that this ends up getting uh, used for, if we go over to uh, cooking again, uh, if we go all the way over here, we kind of showed them earlier, but uh, cane sugar, cane sugar, cane sugar, cane sugar, if I'm not mistaken, even there, yeah, cane sugar, though you don't normally use that one because it's only 5%, but um, yeah, the 30% material drop rate, the 20% um, 
or sorry, the 30% rare material drop rate, which are all those yellow ones, uh, the 20% material drop rate, which are all of them, the 15%, the 10%, all that, um, really solid food. Some of the best in the game for just reducing down farming time, because if you're using all three of these, you're already pretty much like 50%ing, not exactly 50%, but uh, you're pretty close to that point. And uh, combine that with other perks like sensors and stuff like that, you get ridiculously high percents uh, as far as how many more resources you can end up farming at a effective uh, rate. And as you can see, a lot of those ingredients that we kind of saw in the other shop end up coming up uh, for these as well. But uh, yeah, sugarcane, very valuable resource. You want to buy this uh, out um, probably all the time. It's kind of like the tabantha wheat where it feels like it's one of those resources you pretty much always run out of. So do make sure to always stop by that shop to go get that. And if you really want to, you can pick up the eggs and the uh, butter uh, as well. However, the more effective place to pick that up is uh, over here. So as far as uh, the first one here, we have a uh, coarse bee honey. For whatever reason, this always feels like it's going low, particularly as you're going through the storyline. Though in post game, it's a little bit uh, more effective at not going too low. So if we go to the uh, mission over here, uh, and we go into the um, uh, foods. The main thing it's actually used for, two things. It's used for one of the two 10% uh, movement speeds. While this generally isn't used because it's cheaper to go this into uh, this 15% into this other 15%, this last 15% is pretty expensive as far as what it requires. However, all these resources can be farmed from levels. So if you're cycling through blood moons and stuff like that and uh, farming a couple levels, you're generally going to have enough of most of these resources without needing to buy them specifically from shops. So um, you do have that kind of going on. However, if you're a bit earlier on in the game, I'm not even sure when this unlocks, uh, you can kind of go just for this triple which ends up giving you a pretty substantial amount of uh, movement speed. This is the absolute cheapest, this is the second cheapest, and this is theoretically the third cheapest. So if you want to go that, it is 5% lower than going the other option. However, it requires way less material, and you're only losing out on 5% movement speed. So uh, it's uh, generally worth uh, considering. That's one of the main things Course Bee Honey is used for. If you have a lot of excess of it, you can use it for uh, rupee gaining recipes as well. So here you can see we have a 30%, though not really worth going for that one as much. This one's a little bit worth, though you do have to use one of your sugars. Uh, there's one that literally just uses two honey where you can get 20 percent and uh, that's all of them so um there's a couple other options however you're primarily going to be using it for the 10 percent uh, movement speed more often than not there's also a quest line that if you haven't been buying this up like requires like 20 of them as you're going through the game so <laughs> if you still haven't found that quest line yet that thing just it takes an absurd amount if you weren't already buying them up so good to do so ahead of time so you don't need to worry about it anyways uh as far as the next one uh we actually have a lot from this shop of course uh the next one is going to be uh milk so as far as uh, milk is uh, concerned uh this is the primary place to go get all these ingredients because of the high quantity as you can see 20 milk 20 eggs 10 goats and uh, the hydrogen rice so uh, you can end up getting a really high stock even though they're technically available in other locations particularly the egg your stock is so high that uh, you can easily just stock up here and that kind of be good to go for quite a while since unlike some shops where you're only selling like three or five or seven at a time they're selling a whole bulk of 20 so you generally don't run out of these as much as you can see we're almost at like 999 stack on them however uh, as far as what um uh, they're used for as far as uh, milk and eggs i might as well do both of them simultaneously as they are used for a lot of similar dishes however eggs are a little bit more useful uh, eggs are primarily used for all of the exp items so if you're still at a point where you don't have every single character to level uh, 100 yet um, you can end up using it for 10 percent exp this one's a bit expensive but you could use it for eight percent this one's a bit more reasonable and you could do it for seven percent and if you just want to go all in eggs and just do it super cheap you can get the five percent so you could do the ten percent which is egg only the five percent into egg only and then the other one which is almost egg only um, and uh, end up getting like a 20 something percent what is that 22 percent uh, exp bonus which is a pretty good combination uh or you could just do one of the other foods like movement or something if you don't want that other extra bit so uh, ends up farming up a lot of extra uh exp to uh, say the least but anyways um other than that uh milk is also used for as well as eggs are used uh in part to make a couple of these pastry things so as far as the material drop rate oddly enough it's not used for the other one but it is used for the uh, material drop rate ones so it comes into play pretty importantly there and i believe that was mostly it as far as those two are concerned uh they're used for a couple other things like here and there like for example milk is pretty good on the recover health every 10 seconds there's a lot of cheesy strats you can end up doing with that but uh, overall they're not used for too many other really good foods though they do come up uh, quite a lot as they are pretty standard ingredients within cooking uh but anyways as far as um the next one we got ourselves uh butter oh, i should have went with butter too butter has a quite a bit of the similar ones that the uh, other two do as well as far as butter is concerned if we get into stage here uh, I'm not sure why I keep clicking on this one. I think it's just because it's right in center. <laughs> it just kind of works. But as far as butter is concerned, uh, it comes up, of course, a little bit in the egg recipes here for the XP items, which, of course, is uh, pretty useful. It also comes up into play on uh, one of these pastry, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, the 5% uh, on the all stats. Well, that's not used as much. It's still a uh, um, decent food, depending on what you're kind of going for, if you want to kind of go, like, the all stat route. And I believe that was mostly it, oddly enough. Butter is not really used for too, too much. But uh, you definitely want to make sure you have a stock of it because it can go down pretty... Oh, yeah, there was one other big one. I forgot. My bad. 
the 10% damage. I knew it was used for one other thing. I just couldn't find it. So the 10% damage is the uh, other really big thing that a butter tends to be uh, used for. Uh, obviously, 10% damage. Really good. Uses a lot of ingredients. While that looks a bit intimidating as far as that many ingredients, it's still pretty good to go for more often than not uh, because you can get the rock salt in one cycle. You can get the butter within one cycle. You can get the wheat within one cycle. And then you just have to worry about the meat. So in theory, you really just have to worry about those little bird-like things. The uh, What is it called? The raw bird thigh. Uh, because the other three you can uh, just get within your shop cycle. So theoretically, you only need one item for that in a sense. Uh, since the other three can um, you can end up getting through your shop rotations and uh, it's also much easier to do than this one that is for sure uh, due to how hard that one uh, meat is to get i do i do ultimately feel like these are the generally better ones to go for however um obviously they require monster extract which uh if you're not farming a lot of monsters can be a little bit hard to get a large bulks of anyways as far as the uh, next one down the list uh we got ourselves the uh, rice if not mistaken so rice is not i don't believe as useful compared to the um compared to the wheat However, uh, rice does have one kind of interesting thing where it can be used for the... Uh, you kind of have to check sometimes. They actually look really similar to Hylian Rice compared to the wheat. But uh, it does have the Sheikah Slate damage thing. Uh, there are some characters that have some really outstanding Sheikah Slate damage output. So you can end up using it for that ever so situationally depending on your map. And uh, the other big one is uh, right over here, the 10% for this one. You end up needing the Goron Spice and everything. It's probably the main food I feel like I use it on. Um, is the 4 Hylian Rice, the 4 Goron Spice, and the 4 Monster Extracts for 10% to all. Um... It tends to be like the other really big recipe that you tend to use the Hylian rice on. So uh, not too many things, but still worth all, always, of course, keeping an eye on. And aside from that, I believe that was actually all of them then. So that's basically the core 10. I do want to mention one other honorable mention. Of course, there can be side shops here that have various items. For example, this guy actually sells like random junk. I think he has like five random items that can ever pop up here. So he's always a good to keep an eye on. Uh, but however, one pretty other honorable mention. I mentioned that one shop that has like all those uh, fruits, uh, which are worth going for. However, Hardy Bass. Hardy Bass is uh, not really obtained. Actually, I kind of want it right now. I <laughs> Hardy Bass is actually used for something pretty good. Uh, that I like running with uh, movement speed. And that is uh, this dish right over here. So if I go over to... Um, uh, stage one last time and we go over to the uh, thing right over here you have a special attack charge rate so it ends up only using one of these however i feel like i use this enough that <laughs> even though it only uses one um i feel like i almost run out of it sometimes right now i have a bit of a surplus since we're a bit over 100 but um i really like running this special attack charge rate obviously good on pretty much every character in the game it's one of those kind of good foods that if you don't want to buy the more expensive foods which you generally don't it's a nice cheap combination because the uh the, uh, pretty much everything here is free. Uh, the only other thing that you might need to go out of your way for is Bright-Eyed Crab, if you don't have a lot of them uh, already farmed up from things. But Hylian Herb, I feel like I always have max. Mighty Porgy is pretty much always max. Armored Porgy is pretty much always max. Uh, the only thing you really have to worry about is the Hardy Bass, and ever so maybe the Bright-Eyed Crab. However, if I'm not mistaken, this is the only or pretty much only thing the Bright-Eyed Crab is used for, so you tend to get a surplus of it, and it drops way more than the Hardy Bass does. If I'm not mistaken, Hardy Bass only has like literally one side stage that you have to use Mipa for only. <laughs> it has like no other ways to really get it for the most part, other than just is simply farming it off of uh, uh, the shop there uh, that goes on rotation. But anyways, guys, this is kind of a quick brief on shops and all the recipes related to it. Just one last time to kind of bring up the uh, uh, full page. This is right over here. So if you any, have any other questions about recipes or anything else, uh, we will be covering a full guide as far as recipe combinations. Obviously, we went a little bit over food. However, I uh, didn't go like super ultra in depth, but we will be going for like actual builds and uh, stuff like that that foods can end up doing uh, sometime later this week. So if you have any other questions, feel free to leave it below. Uh, feel free to like, feel free to subscribe for future content, and I will catch you guys later. Hope you all have a wonderful week. Goodbye, everyone, and thank you so much for watching.